Hello my friends, this is Garrett from The Kingdom Report and today I've got a special treat for you. We are going into Epcot together. We're going to be doing a construction update and see what is going on in here because as you know, Epcot is currently undergoing a massive renovation to bring it into the 21st century and make it look brand spanking new with new attractions, experiences, and buildings. So let's go check it out. So right as you enter Epcot, you are faced with this big wall right here. And on the other side of it is the other part of the entrance of Epcot. And inside there, right behind that area, is going to be a massive statue and fountain. There used to be a fountain where you would throw coins, but they are currently undergoing uh, some renovations on it to make it look incredible like when Epcot first opened. So we're going to take a peek and see what's going on over there. Not much, just probably a lot of dirt and stuff. Because remember, they used to have the Leave a Legacy uh, statues here, but they've recently traded out for topiaries of flowers. And it looks good, it looks good. They're supposed to also add flags around there, so a lot of things coming here. But let's take a look and see if anything cool is happening right there. Anything? Take a look, take a look, take a look. I truly cannot wait for Epcot to become as beautiful it is as it is supposed to become that all the drawings and presentations have shown. So Epcot is my favorite park here at Walt Disney World just because uh, it was originally the idea for all of Walt Disney World with Epcot being the, exper the experimental prototype community of tomorrow. But Spaceship Earth is still operating. They've added these new signs because you can no longer walk into Future World because both innovations uh, east and west uh, of Future World are close. So you can either go right towards the seas and the land or you can go left towards Mission Space and the Epcot Experience and World Showcase. So I'm going to go towards Mission Space over there because I want to check out the Gardens of the Galaxy attraction. But soon Spaceship Earth right here will uh, we'll close for some time to go under a renovation which will be about the the power of storytelling because as we all know Walt Disney was a huge storyteller and believed in the power of story so uh, eventually that will become an attraction all based on storytelling that's all the details we've been given so hopefully we get more details as 2020 goes on so before we make our way over towards the Mission Space area, this whole area is where the electric umbrella and uh, Future World used to be. There used to be uh, like sort of umbrellas on each one of those lines. They are now gone, so they are currently tearing this whole area up to make it into a wider expansion. And it's just going to be something incredible. That probably will be down for, at l I want to say, a year. It could be down for longer, hopefully a year because who doesn't love Epcot? The way to get to Mission Space is taking a left here at Guest Relations. And it's taking us around Guest Relations and bringing us right next to where the Gardens of the Galaxy attraction will be, which is called Cosmic Rewind. So Cosmic Rewind is slowly coming together and as you can see the building where Ellen's Energy Adventure used to be now has some of the Gardens of the Galaxy colors such as the colors of the Norva, sorry, the Nova Core. They were, well, they're a group that helps the Guardians, well they just participate, they don't really want to help the Guardians because uh, the word that they use in the movie is the Guardians are a bunch of a-holes being put together as you can see the workers are putting in the plating on the roof that will make up the entire roofing uh, it isn't known if they're going to add solar panel roofing or if it's just going to be an added on attachment of that but it's slowly coming together the interior can barely be seen but this attraction is really being brought on and probably the most wondrous thing about it is that that's the actual show building right there this is just the the queue and probably where you and where you board the vehicle but that is actually where the ride begins and it is going to have a spectacular beginning because it is doing a reverse launch meaning the cars will be in reverse and will launch backwards i can't wait to hear the music that they select and all the other amazing effects that the imagineers come up with but slowly coming together bit by bit no set time for when this will open but i'm willing to wait for it 
Mouse Gears has been relocated for a third time back there. It was in its original spot far over there. Then it was in this building. Now it's in the back. So things continue to move. Over there behind that tree line is where the Festival Pavilion used to be. But before that, it was uh, the Wonders of Life Pavilion. And that is being torn down as well to make room for the um, a new section that is escaping my mind right now. Thank you, Upcut, for reminding me. So the old uh, Festival Pavilion is now going to be called the Play Pavilion, which is about the power of play. I imagine they'll have a bunch of small mini attractions there, sort of arcade games where guests can play and interact with digital versions of the characters. And I think that it'll be able to change uh, depending on the season. Like they can always be like, oh, instead of Wreck-It Ralph today, we're going to add Zootopia or, or something along those lines. Not much has been given about that. It's just all about the power of play. And that's going to be happening in that gold dome over there. We don't really know if it's going to be torn down or if it's just going to be renovated inside. I like it, so I hope it's just a cool renovation, but I trust Imagineering. Next, we're going to go check out where the restaurant Space 220 is being built. A lot of news about this, uh, about this restaurant is that it's been pushed back multiple times, the opening date, because they lost their executive chef, and then I, things just aren't coming together. It's supposed to be a very unique experience where you take an elevator 220 miles above the Earth's surface and you are having dinner in space. So there you can see the shape of it coming along. Uh, there's no real indication as to where the entrance will be, but they've painted the go away green on there to sort of hide it, but that really makes me stare at it. So I'm wondering where the entrance will be, but more information will come to that as we find out. Make sure you always check back uh, on the channel here for all that stuff. So subscribe so you always get our latest video and all our fun content and check us out on instagram too we always post stuff on there as well and also test track is still down for renovations too because this ride going 65 miles every single day takes a lot out of it so test track getting some some tlc but that's always good tlc is always good at disney because it means it's going to be smoother for all of us in front of us now we have Epcot Experience which is the sort of the Epcot event center where in there they are pretty much showing previews of what the new attractions and pavilions installments are coming to Epcot in the new future as it transforms into its new idea that we've been talking about for many many months now so check out in there there's some photo ops there are some food options in there as well I like Epcot Experience just because it's air-conditioned Okay, so this has nothing to do with construction updates. I just want to point something out. At certain vendors, they have a White Claw Black Cherry Hard Seltzer for $12. $12 for a can of Hard Seltzer. I, I get people love the White Claw, but $12? I want to say that's at least a $200 to $300 percent markup. Because I think they go for one of them is like maybe $4 or something like that. But man... Disney marks up those prices because they know people want the hard seltzer. So, if you want, if you want a White Claw, twelve dollars. Just so you folks know. All right, back to the construction updates. All right, folks. So the most recent accomplishment here at Walt Disney World, especially here in Epcot, is the Regal Eagle Smokehouse. This is Sam Eagle from the Muppets. This is his smokehouse. It is a salute. It is a salute to all cookouts, but mostly barbecue. Let's go on inside and look around at what's going on in here.
also a dining option outside. And this actually looks like an actual smoker where cast members will actually, no, this is in fact a working smoker. So that is amazing that they could easily have made this just a prop or something, but no, it is an actual smoker. So that is phenomenal. It adds to the atmosphere out here at the outside eatery. And hello, hi there. You want some, you want some barbecue? This is a great addition. And then outside, there's also a little bar area. Now, for the Regal Eagle Smokehouse, Wade and I are going to be reviewing this in the coming future. Uh, he's making a trip out here very soon, and he and I are gonna review this place in very delicious detail. So make sure you check back for that, because I, I love food. I love food. As you know, I don't often eat in the park. So with Wade coming out, I feel like it's especially appropriate that I eat especially some good barbecue, because I've had good barbecue in a while, so hopefully Sam Eagle knows what he's doing. Huh? Off in the distance, my friends, we see the construction of the France Pavilion expansion, including the new creperie as well as the new Ratatouille attraction that is coming, but this isn't a very good view, so let's go to the highway in the sky on, this, on the Disney Skyliner and get a better vantage point, shall we? So from watching the Skyliner clips of the France expansion, you can see that the external part of the Ratatouille attraction uh, is coming along very smoothly as, along with the creperie. It's, it's just doing the minor details that Disney is known for doing so well that still needs to be done. So summer of this year, that attraction is going to be open, that area is going to be open, and you better believe I will be there opening day checking out all the splendor and magic that will be inside because I've ridden the attraction in Disneyland Paris and it is phenomenal so I can't wait for it to be out here so that all the friends on this half of the world can view it as well but we're gonna head on over to our final area of construction updates as this is being filmed you can see that the flowers for flower and garden are being put in these beautiful arrangements in the shape of Mickey the Sun or a sunflower and more Mickey Flower and Garden is such a beautiful uh, event here. I, I, I love it just because of just how beautiful Disney is. Disney's agriculture team and their landscaping team does not get enough credit for this wonderful festival. Can't wait to come back and show you folks how magical that festival is. From this position here, you can see how Innovations East and West is both being completely renovated there that is the interior of where uh club cool uh the old star Wars, starbucks fountain view as well as um character spot used to be and then over here where mouse gears used to be they are beginning gutting the inside of it and soon that building will be either torn down or uh, renovated into something new this area right here is actually where the new festival center is going to be it's going to be a three-tier um, location where 
Uh, they will have events for the festivals that Epcot has in addition to having possible meet and greets and uh, fireworks viewing areas. So I'm looking forward to that because they're going to have trees and plants and topiaries, all that uh, built into this concrete and metal foundation. So it's truly mixing uh, modern building with nature's beauty. Can't wait for it. Next to the Land Pavilion, they are currently doing construction uh, right next to it, and it's also right next to Imagination with Figman. But as you can see, those wires right there, that could be an area for a festival, um, or it could be some sort of gardening exhibit. But no information has been given. It just says, we are clear, currently making something new. So we'll check back on that. In this area where they have great accomplishments that mankind has done, the walkway into where the old nation's fountains used to be is now covered up. They're going to be doing construction back there, tearing down these buildings to make room for the area that we're walking into, which is going to be the Moana Journey of Water attraction experience, something like that. But pretty much it allows guests to interact with water. And we can see that from right around here, where that fencing is. Right there, this is where the attraction is going to be. I imagine they will be tearing down this building to make it even a larger area because right now it seems rather small. But from here, you can clearly see where the park exit is over there. This is the other entrance and exit into Epcot. A closer look, and you can see where the journey of water will begin with Moana and all her friends over here dive into the sea and even has. The Moana symbol going on around here along with the Epcot Wave symbol. But yeah, this whole area in here will be a journey of water experience, like I said before. Well, my friends, those are all the construction and building updates and new additions that Epcot has experienced uh, within the past uh, few days to few weeks. I hope that you had a fantastic time watching it. What is the thing you're most looking forward to? Me personally, I am looking forward to uh, Cosmic Rewind and the Ratatouille attraction, but what's yours? Again, this has been Garrett with the Kingdom Report. I'm connecting you to more of what makes you happy. Have a magical day. See you next time. Welcome.